Welcome to Camelook, your twice weekly dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will be sharing an object from a collection and posing questions for a discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. for new artwork and new conversation. Hello, I'm Rosa Wilner, volunteer at the museum, and today I'm going to share with you the beautiful artwork by Fitz Henry Lane. Two ships, winged arrow and southern cross in Boston Harbor. A native of Gloucester, Massachusetts, born there in 1804, known for, for his marine and coastal scenes, trained as a lithographer in Boston. He was part of the Luminous Movement, a nuclear American development in the mid 19th century. Henry was a devoted social reformer, particularly within the American temperance movement, as well as the long-held suspicions that Lane was a transcendentalist has been confirmed and it has been uncovered that he was also a spiritualist. One of his patron, friend, and next-door neighbor states that Lane was always hard at work and had no mood in his work, always pleasant and kind with visitors. He was unmarried having had no romance. A contemporary of the Hudson River School, he enjoyed the reputation as America's premier painter of marine subjects during his lifetime, but fell into obscurity soon after that, his death in 1965. Lane's work would be rediscovered in the mid-1930s by the art corrector Maxime Karolik. This painting shows two clipper ships leaving Boston Harbor, the winged arrow, on the right with the sea dragon figurehead and the southern cross on the left with its eagle figurehead. The movement of water around the bow shows that they are on their way. To the left on the ships is a small boat and in the distance can be seen the skyline of Boston. The ships were built in Boston in the early 1850s for using California and Far East trade. In 1853, their owner, Benjamin Hart, Jr. of Gloucester, Massachusetts, commissioned Fitz Henry Lane to make this portrait of his new vessels. Huff was engaged in the import-export business that, among the other ventures, supplied Brazilian rosewood to piano manufacturers. The winged arrow was particularly fast ship, making the voyage around the Horn to the West Coast in noteworthy time. She was sold to a Russian fur trading company in 1868. Unfortunately, the career of Southern Cross ended abruptly when the Confederate cruiser Florida captured and burned her in June of 1863. The questions I would like to ask you, have you ever been on a cruise? And if so, what was your favorite part of the cruise? Thank you. Please make comments below and I hope to see you soon at the Cincinnati Art Museum.